and hello YouTube, this is GS Mansmart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Now today's tutorial, we're going to be focusing on Audacity, and a very common question that I get asked a lot, because I do do this for a lot of my videos, and for my gameplay videos even, how to record audio from your computer. So if you are in a Skype call and you want to record it, if you're watching a YouTube video and you want to record the audio, if you're listening to music and you want to record uh, the music from YouTube, if you're playing a game and you want to record the audio from the game, you know, anything that's playing on your computer and you want to record that piece of audio, you can do it in Audacity. And the way you do this is you need to have a stereo mix available on your system. Most computers have a, a stereo mix recording device available, um, but depending on your drivers will depend on if you have it available or not. So that's the first step. So to check if you have it available, you want to right click your uh, sound icon at the bottom and then click recording devices. Uh, this is Windows 10 if you have Windows uh, 8, 7 or Vista even. Um, it should all be the same. You just right click the uh, little speaker icon. If you can't find it, then you can just also go to control panel and go to hardware and sound. Click sound and it will pop up for you. Here it is. Now you want to go to recording, the recording tab, and what you want to look for is stereo mix. If you don't see stereo mix here, right click the white area here and click show disconnected devices and show disabled devices. Make sure both of these are check marked. If you end up seeing a stereo mix or if you end up seeing something like loop back or uh, PC audio or wave in or sound in or stereo mix, something like that, then you have the uh, proper device available. If you have this available, then you can record audio from your computer. If you don't have this available or anything similar to it, then unfortunately you cannot record audio from your computer. So that's the uh, sucky part if you don't have it, but most computers should have it. Anyway, once you've done this, once you've, if you if you have stereo mix, make sure you enable it. So when you right click it, you should be able to click disable, don't click it, it should say ready. Um, if it's grayed out, right click it and click enable. After that, you can leave everything else the same. Don't touch anything else. You can close that. The next step in Audacity is go to Edit Menu, then go to the Preferences Menu, and make sure that in the Recording Settings, make sure you have this unchecked Software Playthrough. This should be unchecked. If this is check marked. Uncheck it because it could cause some problems. So, and um, you want to have this unchecked for most of the time anyway. So. Just make sure you have that. It may be default already, but just check. After that, you want to make sure you're under the MME, and then for your uh, microphone, you want to make sure you click Stereo Mix. After that, if you wanted to record, say, Riven's voice. For those who were lost, violence to end violence. We can easily do that by just clicking Record. So much death. They've crossed the line. A necessary strike to serve the greater good. It must come to pass. Right. And then... So much death. They've crossed the line. A necessary strike. So as you can see, we have recorded audio right from our computer. And this works with anything that your computer basically has playing. Um, one thing you want to be aware of is if, if these waveforms are too loud and and they and they really touch the top and the bottom of the uh, of the wave here, then you want to lower the recording volume, which is right here. You can just drag this down and it makes it lower. Um, if you, so yeah, that's basically it. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty simple, easy tutorial. It's a neat little trick. That you can do with audacity it really comes in handy sometimes because sometimes i do need to uh, record something off of youtube because i can't find a download link somewhere so sometimes i do actually use this to record certain things such as a uh, riven voice for my some of my other videos that's pretty much it guys if you have any comments any questions any feedback leave it in the comments below i'll try to definitely answer them i know some of you may run into problems so i'll try my best to answer them quickly because um, I know the first time I did this, I did run into some problems with like the microphone settings and all that stuff. So it can be a bit tedious the first time around. But I hopefully enjoyed, 
and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Math Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.